Welcome back everyone, this is Pilot Nils. It appears this fall V is not quite ready to enter into Moria, so we are going to have to handle things ourselves. Hello there. The dwarves will prevail. There's much work to be done, Pineleaf, here and elsewhere in the mines. This has been a great victory for the Iron Garrison, but this is only the beginning of our toils beneath the mountains. You must aid our people here in Durin's Threshold and at other encampments if we are to have victory in Hazadum. When you have performed some of the tasks for Durin's Threshold, you should seek for the Dolven View and for the Deep Descent. Speak with Ben Sharpie at Dolven View, east of here, and to Vestmar in the Deep Descent. Alright, I'm going to head right off to Dolven View. It's not in the best shape, but maybe they'll be able to fix it up in time. We are talking about dwarves after all. They do two things. One is mine mithril, and the other one is fix up places made of stone. Uh, sounds like dwarves to me. Oh, oh, yes, I can forget about drinking the beer. Yes. Hello there. The time has come to drive forth the orcs from our kingdom. Welcome to Dolven View, Pineleaf. As you can see, the Iron Garrison is hard at work, making everything ready for our resettlement in the mines. Speak to the people here and help them with their tasks. We must see to the safety before we can push any further in Hazadum. Alright. Well then, let's see how many people we can help in this area. Actually, let's see. That's a level 53 quest, so I can... I don't need to finish that off right away. Actually, probably not until I get sent down into Silvertine Loads. Hello there. At long last, we will drive the maggot folk from our holes. The first order of business, I have noticed a number of deep claws roaming awfully near the Dolven View. Haven't you? Get rid of them. Right, aye, aye, sir. And you? If we drive the orcs from Khazadum, will it be enough? Oh, forgive me for asking, but, uh, you've... Could you lend a hand? Yes, you want me to clear out some rubble. Okay, and? What foul and nameless things we face in Moria, I know not. Yeah, find a place called the Lonely Span and claim it for the dwarves. Claim it. I claim this band for the dwarves. Is this the Lonely Span? No, there are too many people here for it to be the Lonely Span. I have a presume that this, by his description, the Lonely Span is much, much further away. Past the Deep Claws and past the Rubble. Right. Not big enough Rubble yet. I think he said I'll recognize the Rubble when I see it. Yep. Eh, this is the rubble. The rubble is bigger than I am! <sighs> Dwarves. Well, yeah. We'll have to deal with that. Anyway, it's been an interesting week in Lotra this week. We had the first test on Bulber of the 64-bit client. So far it looks promising, though there are a few things that still need to be tweaked before it'll be ready. So we'll have to see about that. And the other thing is, it's May and... i would forgotten what May sometimes brings. May sometimes brings in all sorts of fun DNS issues. And this year, apparently, they had done some tweaking to the client that didn't get through some things like the Steam client. Apparently, the Steam client was never updated to the new system because if you have a older client, such as the Steam client, it it can no longer get into the game. Yeah, and I've been using the Steam client for years. Though not today. This is my first time, I think, in recording. 
an episode not using the steam plant. Well, all right. Obviously, anything done on Boro wasn't done with the Steam client. And it's possible that my Boro client will still work here. That or I have to download a new Boro client. The next time that comes up, I'll have to find that out. But in a way, I think I was playing Boro on the 64-bit client. I was definitely running under a new client in that case. Though, that's the question is whether the trouble is within the... The part of the client that's divided on it because the client includes not only the executable but a great deal of other stuff because otherwise the 64 bit client would have taken forever to download if that were the, if it were a whole new if everything were replaced, yeah. Oh. A goblin. Am I supposed to kill any goblins yet? Probably not. Goblins will come later. But anyway, it wasn't until this morning before I finally was able to download the client and get everything working. It took me three tries to get it all working, but it's working now! I can play the game! I can record an episode! <laughs> yeah. So, that's joyous. Two, three, the first time I tried it, I'm not sure what happened the first time I tried it. It just... The whole thing just fell apart, gave me all sorts of errors. I said, alright, fine. You didn't want to work? What next? Then I said, okay, what if I go to a different... What if I install it to a different directory? Oh, that gave me an even worse error. All right, fine. I'll just make sure absolutely positively nothing else is happening on the system. Reboot the system. Make sure nothing else is going on in the system. Install to the default location. And that finally worked. So now I've got a game up and running. I may have to hook it up so that I can run it from Steam because I have a habit of forgetting to run things that aren't on well actually with Minecraft around and Minecraft not being on Steam I have I at least have some things that I normally run outside of it so I can get used to it I guess we'll have to see in the end but that's another matter now let's just plant our flag I wonder if how this is going to do with the issues I have on crashing on memory size and stuff like that. I suspect it's not going to do any good whatsoever. I'm going to guess I'll have to wait for the 64-bit client before that's all stable. Oh yes, the 64-bit client does not yet support Lua, so if I do switch over to the 64-bit client, it'll be without my plugins. And I have a couple of plugins that I use, as you can see up here. The two main ones that I use are buff bars, which you can see up here. Which, let's see, how many of these things will. It'd be interesting to see how well I can get along without buff bars. The main thing is that when a debuff comes up that I want to get rid of, that's the main reason why I like to have buff bars, because I'd have to pay attention to all these little buffs up there. And see, okay, is there, what does that one look like now? Let's see, is there a squint in there? And maybe I could recognize the particular buff or debuff that's up there. I'll have to be able to do that because I'll no longer get the nice summary here. The other disadvantage of the 64-bit client is also I won't have Titan Bar. But Titan Bar! Alright. The time of day is that probably actually the most useful piece of information up here. I know it's nice knowing how many marks and medallions I've got. And the time of day might occasionally be useful, but the real thing that I really want here is this thing, saying what time of day it is, because 
it makes it a lot easier for me to it makes it a lot easier for me to track times for recording episodes and stuff like that. Fortunately, I'm in Moria right now and time of day isn't as critical as it was. I don't like recording at night, so I tend to avoid it. Ah! Hello there, Soat. So, he's, apparently he's a bit of a scholar here. So, maybe I shouldn't call him Sot. Alright. Hello there, Soat. I've claimed the bridge. It is said that Durin's bane dwells here, though we have not seen it. Well done, Pineleaf. As long as the banner stands, the Lonely Span will be safe for the members of the expedition and all the free peoples who wish to use this road. And now you are assuming that the goblins aren't cunning enough to set up an ambush next to the flag, even, even if it's still there. I know they like to tear things like that down, but who knows? I think I'll level here. I'm not sure Kasadum can be restored. The orcs have surely ruined it. Excellent. With that path clear again, it will be much easier to deliver supplies to the 21st Hall. There you go. And I took care of those deep claws. will defy Dudin's Bane! Ooh, a carapace carver. Well, how appropriate for that. Good. I'll probably start to get some rep clickies from this. Yep. Some rep clickies. And. Never hurts to throw in a little bit of extra legendary XP here. How am I doing on this? Ooh. I'm maxed out at my DPS now. That's. That's a step in the right direction. There you go. Anyway, I, be, I was collecting when I was in that time of being at level 50 and having the stone on. I managed to get quite a number of relics from running skirmishes and the relics drop in there. Not at a huge amount, but enough to get me a little bit supplied there. Hello. We can only hope that Durin's Bane sleeps deeply. Uh, as you can see from here, there is a large encampment of goblins down in Galzmir. Uh, well, all right, I'll just have to trust your eyesight on that. Yes, we have the forces to push them out, which is why I am sending you there. I'm sure Weakfaz could use help with assessing the situation there. Right. Assessing the situation. Hello there, weak fast. Need any help? Of course he does. The time has come to drive forth the orcs from our kingdom. Ah, did Slugvi send you? Just in time. I was about to try to venture into these and start lobbing the goblin heads off all by myself, though I am ill-equipped for such a venture. Ooh. What should I do then? Stand and speak with me. The fate of Khazadum hangs in the balance. I cannot understand how so many goblins can exist here unless they have some great hoard of supplies stowed away in Gossetmer. Go and destroy those food stores. All right, and? We have little time to speak. Great events have been set in motion. And kill goblins, of course. Of course, kill goblins. I, I knew that would be one of his requests <laughs> yourself one goblin down and many 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 more to go oh well I should be able to die yourself there you go. And this one. Just pick them off one by one and then we'll be able to enter into the place. And I guess I should also take... Now I should have... Yeah, there it is. 
I thought so. The Servant of the White Hand. Speaking of the Servant of the White, I guess someone's going around killing them every once in a while. Which tends to happen in this place. Oh no, there's the Servant of the White Hand right there. Alright, good. We're supposed to take care of this guy. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Hey! Finally managed to... Remove a corruption! Yay! Well, first time I intentionally removed a corruption since I got into Moria. Defeated the White Hand Lieutenant. Good. Now I guess I should also start collecting mirrors and all. So just go around here, collect food, or I should say destroy food, kill goblins. Yeah, 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 that's what they all say. Good. Oh, hello! Aha! Interrupted you. Good. Now just a few more and I shall be done. As you wished. I killed some goblins for you. These halls will be great once more. It's a good start. Yes, it is. And I burned those supplies. The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Kasatum. Well done! That was a key step in dismantling their presence here. Alright. And finally, I found a servant of the White Hand. These halls will be great once more. White Hand, Mark? And an enemy Uruk leading it all? That is strange news. And I am not sure what to make of it, but... It sounded like an altogether disagreeable affair. I'm glad you put a stop to it, Pineleaf. Right, I'm sure you are. Ooh, is this any good? Hmm. Uh, yeah, that falls under my definition of any good. All right, uh, thank uh, you. What do you say is next? If we are to fight Mithril and Kazatum, we will first have to deal with the orcs. Now that we have weakened the defenses of the goblin camps, we may soon be in a position to launch a full assault against them. Go down and defeat their overseers. Gotcha. Right. And anything else while we're at it? Yes. We have seen not of Durin's Bane. Be wary if you journey into Moria. The goblins of Gosetmer have stationed archers on top of those platforms. Anyone who tries to attack them directly will be slaughtered. They will make a road perilous for those trying to move along the Great Delving. The platforms are a typical goblin make from what I have seen. Clever idea, but shoddy. There's a major pin at the bottom of the shaft that holds the platform up. Pop it out and watch them fall. Right. There you go. Right there we have the platforms up there. A and there's a supervisor there too. Or, oh, no, no. An overseer. Mm. A loud one too. Yeah, you too. Yeah, shut up. You're dead. And you shut up too. Now, where were we? Ah, next one. Actually, this is the best view I've ever had. Uh, did they change these so that they're a lot easier to see? Because I remember the first time that I did this quest, I could not see the goblins up on top or anything like that. Maybe they moved them down to a more reasonable position or made it a little bit more obvious because that's the best view I've ever had of the platform. All right, that is two of those. Let's see, there's the next overseer. Y 
Yeah, <laughs> yourself. There you go. Yeah. There's another platform there, but I don't need to go all the way in there in order to get a platform. I'm standing right next to one. Good. And? Good. Now I just need to find another overseer. I have taken care of it. I took care of the overseers. The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Kasatum. Your courage knows no bounds, Pine Leaf. All right, and the good news is I've got a spear for you. The bad news is that you've already got a better one because my spear is now legendary. Ooh, ooh, part of the set that. I have already started collecting. Might as well grab that in there. Now I have two pieces of the set. And I might as well start plopping those things. What am I doing with my reputation? I suppose I should start tracking my... I really should have thought of that before I came into here because I'm going to guess that I'm not going to be showing numbers yet. I had a feeling, oh no, no, it's already up there. Good. All right, 35% already on the acquaintance. I'm already acquaintance on the guards. Huh, really? Okay. Oh, probably because I'm getting, because probably the guards are in charge of many of the early locations. And I also managed to knock down those platforms. Dwarves must fight for dwarves. Good work, Pine Leaf. They will put those platforms back up sooner or later, but in the meantime, our forays against the goblins will be a little bit more successful without those arrows raining down upon us. Well, I guess you got a point there. Of course, he has more for us to do. What is it? We'll have to find that out in the next episode of The Complete Pine Leaf.